Go. All right, let's do it. Hey everyone, welcome to another crazy episode of me eating hot dogs. Um, I've had some notoriety lately. Uh, people have uh, called me to tell me or compliment me on my brilliance uh, of, of, of such a, such a uh, YouTube video series. And, um, and I've also received some videos from some people. They're saying they're paying homage to me. I personally think it's a ripoff. I would like you to be the judge. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to show you. Exhibit one. Hello, I am the hot dog expert. There's no one better than me. Now, let me talk about this. Okay, now it's time to eat it. I'm not sure. Um, now, I will say that I do know everything. That is the truth, but uh, I'm also not a villain, which is what it seems like uh, that person was uh, trying to make me out to be. I'm not an evil villain. I'm just a person that likes to eat hot dogs. Let's look at exhibit two. Me eating hot dogs. Okay, hello guys. Fast forward. Okay, so it is time that I try this hot dog. Um, I, I already bit into it because I'm hungry. I don't even know what to say about that. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I will say after watching them again that these radicals will be hearing from my lawyer. All right. So before we get to our tasting, all right, before we get to our tasting, I've had questions about my rating system or the rating system that's used on the show. It's a five point rating system. I just want to go over it really quickly with you. So you guys have a full understanding that when I rate things, what it means in my mind. Okay. All right, here's where we start. Uh, it's a decimal based system, as you know, because I do point whatever. So from zero to one, if, you, if I rate something zero to one, that is what I consider dreck territory. That is just awful food. I would choose not to consume something in this category if put in front of me. I would not eat. That's, that's, how, that's how poor I would put, I would say these, uh, these items are. One to two, I would say, under certain circumstances, I may eat it. Like, so for example, I put one to two, normally a ballpark hot dog, a hot dog that I'd get at the ballpark or a hot dog I'd get at a football game or something, you know, a sporting event where you go and you go get a hot dog because you're sitting at a, I don't know, a giant game. So you're like, hey, I'm going to get a hot dog. That's what you do. You get a hot dog. That hot dog is going to be usually low quality. I put that, that's usually what sits between one and two. So under certain circumstances, a beautiful day, a baseball uh, being tossed around and a hot dog. So. I like that experience, so I will put up with the, the, the low quality hot dog. All right, two to three, I would say are solid grocery store hot dogs. Solid grocery store hot dogs, okay? When I go to the grocery store, it'll be, it'll be what I would just choose in a pinch if I was going to someone's house and we we're gonna grill some hot dogs. Just real simple. Three to four are hot dogs that I will travel along, around the Bay Area. I'm from California, from San Francisco. I travel around the Bay Area to acquire a very special hot dog. If I have a special event, I have people coming over the house, I will go get a, I would go get a very special type of hot dog. That sits within that category, three to four. Four to five, I will send out, I will acquire it, you know, over, over land. I will have it sent to me from a place on a very special occasion. I just had a very special birthday in June of last year and I brought in all of these hot dogs uh, from my, one of my favorite places in New York City, which we'll, we'll get to one day. So those are like super just mega hot dogs. Those are just iconic hot dogs. All right. All right, there we go. That is my rating system. That's why when you see me put things in there, just consider that that's what's going on in my mind when I'm tasting those hot dogs. All right, good. Next hot dog, next hot dog right here. This is our next rating. Again, frozen. Again, we are confined here in my house and I have only access to what I have in my freezer. So here we got Miller's, Miller's Hot Dogs. Miller's Hot Dogs, 1910. Oakland, California, Miller, 
meatpacking company. Okay, so it's it's been it's it's the first of the West Coast hot dogs. It is natural casing hot dog. Um, it, I received it from a friend. I, I I thank you on the air. I'm not going to say your name because I don't say anyone's name on the air. But I thank you for uh, delivering these hot dogs for me. Um, you find these around the Bay Area. I'm not sure where you, whether you find them anywhere else, but uh, I find them here locally. I figured it'd be a good hot dog for me to give a, you know, give a try to. All right, let's do it. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back. I've completed the cooking process of my Miller's hot dog. It's right here. It's a little larger or I guess lower gauge, I don't know, lower gauge, girthier, I suppose, than the um, hot dog I did last week, the boar's head. A um, little lighter in color as well. Uh, you can see the natural casing. All right. <sighs> Next step is to, uh, is to give it a try. All right, I'm going to go in. Going in. All right, all right, here I go. It's got a good snap, maybe a little less of a snap than the boar's head, but it was still pretty substantial. Uh, mustard, mustard flavor, front and center, light smoke, almost like a realistic smoke as opposed to you know, the Nathan's I did the other day that, or a few weeks ago, that I felt was a really false smoky flavor. But there's an elephant in the room. Here I go. Sugar. This hot dog has more sugar than salt. I can taste it. I mean, I can taste it sweet. Um, when that happens and you get more sugar than salt, It has that flavor that what I'm going to call from now on on the on the, on this uh, on this YouTube thing here. I'm going to call it an industrial hot dog flavor. It's kind of what you get when you eat. I don't know when you eat a hot dog at um, you know at a, at a stadium or something like that. You get that kind of super sweet hot dog. Um, it's not my favorite thing. Super sweet hot dog. Um, it does have some. Definitely some redeeming qualities to it. Um, the texture also is a little interesting. Here, Oscar, give it, here, 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 you'll taste it. My director will taste it. You see? Yeah, that's right. He's nodding right now. Okay. All right, see, one, one, one bite, more bites gone. Um, so I respect all the, all the positive qualities of it, but that sweetness is something that's not, uh, not one that I'm, 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 Totally stoked about, but it's still a good hot dog. <sighs> I give it a two. I give it a two, out of respect for its uh, its history and uh, and all the other positive qualities that it has. Um, but the sugar, not my favorite. Till next time. See you guys later. Hot dog. Yes, that.